Hi whiskey aficionados and welcome to review number 99 looking at the uh, Tullibardine the Murray Highland single malt scotch whiskey it's a cask strength whiskey non chill filtered oh. it's still a family owned distillery and that's owned by uh, Terriers distilling now, based out of France and um, it's a Highland distillery operating in the village of uh, Blackford. The Murray 2008 uh, from the United Edition range and the first bottlings were dedicated to Sir William Murray. Obviously cask strength which is 56.1% and what the, uh, the marketing people will tell you is that on the nose, honeycomb candy, butterscotch, fudge, layers of candy floss, cream brulee, molasses, all drenched in a warm, spiced, bermuff orange liqueur. Rich, creamy toffee flavors infused with citrus fruits, brownie baked Alaska with hints of chocolate chip, mint ice cream combined with leaving a long, lingering, velvety finish. For the life of me, <laughs> I just don't know how you can get that amount of imagination from the flavors that you taste in a whiskey but um, some people can I don't believe my uh, nose is big enough but it doesn't I don't think it picks up some of the nuances that it should so I don't really judge anything by its color and that is very very dependent the color is dependent on the barrel it's dependent on whether or not the distillery uses color to to balance out um, their whiskies so I never ever really pay too much attention to color sometimes you see something in all real dark and rich and oh wow that's got to be fantastic uh, could just be coloring right could be uh, sugar cool wee <laughs> All right, I was taught once not to just stick your nose in a glass because sometimes it's overpowering and that's just exactly what I did. So we'll go a little easier this time. Wow, it's nice. Did I mention it's non-chill filtered? Oh, it's powerful. You can, you can, you know it's gonna be powerful straight away. Got a big, big vanilla. Um, toffee, big vanilla, toffee apple, and lemon coming through there on the nose. You know, I'd say that that kick ass, kick ass nose. All right, let's dive in. You know, we've had the last three, four days in Auckland and parts of New Zealand has been a bit of a disaster. We've had very, very, very serious flooding. And I think a few people could do with some of this right now. Uh, they are clearing things up, but it has been bad. Some people have lost businesses, homes, um, you know, so I do hope that they, they get things back on track. Um, back to this, you know straight away that this is cask strength simply because of the hit. Whammo, there it is. You do get you do get that hit. I thought earlier you didn't, but you do. You get that hit and sweet, sweet, sweet toffee. The vanilla comes through. You've got that even sit even a little bit of um, grapefruit maybe, you know, moving moving along that line. A little bit of citrus, grapefruit. Uh, there's definitely a nice little cinnamon or possibly a Chinese five spice um, lingering. It seems to be lingering slightly towards the back of the throat rather than the front um, finish. Ooh, that nose still gets me. Oh, it's a good finish. It's quite long. I'm just 
popping a little bit of water in here. In fact, I'll pop a fair bit of in. Sometimes I put two or three drops in, don't tell a bloody difference, so I tend to give it give it a little bit more. Changed it quite dramatically on the nose. I should say change it, dilutes it. Oh wow. You know, just a just a tad of water there and it, it makes the whole experience like as if you're drinking a different whiskey it is quite incredible uh, that's much more pleasant in my mind yeah look this is a very very decent uh, single malt scottish whiskey for a very very decent price i don't think it's hideously expensive so value for money right up there um yeah superb i'd give this maybe oh, seven and a half out of ten maybe somewhere around 75 76 points out of 100. um very nice tullabardine the Murray. Get yourself some if you can. Now, subscribe, share the video, and like the video because it does help. And until the next review, slanch it.